Is your internet frustratingly slow again? And expensive too? That could change soon. Some countries plan to convince network providers to offer cheaper and faster internet contracts. So let's take a look at how you could profit from that. Either faster internet or lower costs. That's the new deal the US government has brokered with 20 leading internet providers. Some of them are willing to offer a download speed of 100 megabits per second for as little as 30 US dollars a month. A new law would make the cheap and fast plans available to those in need. That's some 48 million households, or nearly 40% of all households in the US. This could be a model for other countries too, as slow internet speeds tied to costly contracts are an issue worldwide. Right now, conditions around the world are very diverse. Let's look at average broadband speeds first. The median download speed worldwide is 63 megabits per second, with an upload speed of 27 megabits. At that speed, you would take around 12 seconds to download The Wolf of Wall Street from Netflix to your mobile phone using your home Wi-Fi. Right now, you get the fastest broadband internet in the whole world in Singapore, with an astonishing median of 198 megabits per second. At the opposite end, the slowest internet speed is found in Afghanistan, with less than 2 megabits per second. You'd have to wait for about 6.5 minutes to download The Wolf of Wall Street, compared to that world average of just 12 seconds. The world truly is divided in terms of internet speeds, as this map shows. The comparison website Cable has found that North America and Western Europe have the highest internet speeds, parts of Asia sit somewhere in the middle, while the rest of Asia, most of South America and Africa have to deal with the slowest broadband internet. And when it comes to costs, the differences are baffling too. Let's look at three examples. In Mexico, people pay about 34 US dollars for a download speed of 100 megabits per second. That's a steep 5% of the average monthly income. It gets even more expensive in India. 11 US dollars for the same speed sounds cheap at first, but that's actually 7% of the average monthly income. But nothing can compare to the situation in Pakistan. There you have to pay up to a whopping 58 US dollars. That's an unbelievable 54% of an average person's monthly income. Could you imagine paying half of your salary just for the internet? Governments could also push for stricter guidelines to enforce maximum internet costs and minimum speeds if companies don't cooperate to offer cheap and reasonably fast internet like in the US. There is a proposal that goes even further. Surely you've already heard of the demands for a basic income in some countries. Well, some experts think that this should apply to internet access as well. As in, people should be guaranteed a right to basic internet access. Do you think that should be pursued? Let us know in the comments. Now, putting aside the question of cheap or expensive internet, always remember that you're privileged to even be watching this video. Some 37% of the world's population doesn't have access to the internet at all. But that digital divide is a completely different issue. Right now, the US government's New Deal is a first, but it's not unlikely that other governments will adapt similar policies. We'll keep a close eye on developments for you, so stay tuned and see you next time.